Hi everyone, it's Raja. And bonjour, it's Aquaria. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion, Fashion Photo, Photo Review. What's the theme, Aquaria? Today is our least favorite day on Drag Race. Makeovers. It is the makeover challenge. Mm, makeovers. And the makeover theme was family resemblance. Have you personally ever dressed one of your boyfriends or someone that you dated in drag? Um, I've dressed some friends up in drag, but I definitely am not one to be known to have lots of suitors or daters or what? hookups or whatever. And really? um, the last thing I want to do is put makeup on them because that just sounds miserable and stressful. And Usually they're too. That's very hot telling. For so you're you're you don't you're not you're not a big dater or. I mean, not now. I'm not I'm not against it. I'm gonna tell you right now that I'm very protective over Aquaria and any man that decides to date her better be worthy. So. Raj will be doing. Yes. I will f you off first and make sure the f is juicy and big enough for her to handle, yeah. and then we'll go from there. We've got Latrice and Alexis Knight. Mm. This is very classic Latrice. I love the big blonde hair. Latrice's hair and moment looks gorgeous on her. Alexis's, I think, proportionately work better on Latrice, mm. but it's dragged out. You definitely can't say she did not drag her out. We love a, a, a patterny sequin moment. Uh, Latrice looks like a classic, gorgeous gown moment, and uh, Alexis Knight's look is not my favorite. It doesn't oh, really see, have. See, that's what I was going to say. It's it's drag, but it doesn't have much of like a theme or like a concept to it. It almost doesn't even read quite as like glamorous or whatever no. to me. It's just kind of like sparkly, glittery, overdramatic, big hair. Yeah, that's the thing. I wish I wish that the, the outfit would have been like full length, just like Latrice's. I mean, if you're going to go for a family resemblance, um, this this length on her dress is awkward to me. It's right above. It the emphasizes knee. the the shoulder moment that's going on and the black pump. It's like a really really slutty churchgoer. It's not my favorite. If it's going to be a family resemblance challenge, I think that this is a fail, and I'm going to say it's a boot for me. Yeah, maybe if it was a more specific themed look, it might have been easier to just be like. Boom, boom. Yeah. So, unfortunately, boom, boom, boom. But I do love Alexis's hair, though. I kind of wish that I had that right now. Next up, we have Monique Hart and her drag doll. She need a heart. I love this look from mm -hmm. Monique Hart. I still don't hate this this cartoon, the cartoon exaggerated yeah. features. I, I don't mean to pat myself on the back. But yes. May do I, it. May I please say Can that? Can I pat I you on the first, back? Can go for it. <laughs> Anyway. Sorry, that was, I, <laughs> I, I was thinking sound effect in my head, but I gave sound effect They, they added one, they added no, one. No, th that's okay. I like the do, do, do. Yeah. But sorry for hitting you so hard. No, do it again. <laughs> oh, oh, girl, I'm, ah. Yeah. This is an example of how to successfully develop your style and aesthetic that you loved from your season of Drag Race. Mm -hmm. And just like keep with that and, and bring it and elevate it is such a unique Way to have like the lips at the bottom of the dress. I haven't really seen anything like this. And you were just about to toot your own horn yes. before I knocked over everything on set. I'm gonna go ahead and toot my own horn now and say, you know what? Bitches wasn't thinking about no Cyclops eye until Raja showed up in season three. So I'm really appreciating the homage to me. Love the eyelashes mm -hmm. on the on the sleeve. It's just really different, very abstract. It's also Picasso. again, again, it's zip ties. Zip ties is a is a trend alert. Picasso Club Kid fabulousness. Monique and Shania get a big toot from me. I'm gonna give this look an absolute toot. I really love Fabulous. it. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Now get it away. All right, next we have Manila Luzon. And oh my God, is this who I think it is? That's Mike. That's Mike's, that's Manila's husband. Oh, that's my husband. <laughs> I think this is a really fun take on deck of playing cards deck look. Deck of cards, yeah. Um, she's here to gamble. If, you, if you're into gambling, I would put your money on her. Marriage is a gamble. There's that, there's that. Um, yeah. The game of yeah. life. As far as uh, the makeover goes, I think she did a really nice job uh, dragging out uh, her wife. Uh huh. She looks beautiful. I like the it. hair is pretty. I like it. It's a it. really nice look. Did you notice also that Manila is the queen of clubs? That's cool. Oh uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's the queen of clubs. And then her. I normally I would I would think someone would not do that intentionally, but Manila definitely. <sighs> She has the attention to She detail. is a walking pun. I love it. It's not my favorite. It's not like the most no, outstanding it, thing. But as we know, the makeover challenges are usually very, very, very challenging. 
Yeah, uh, I think sometimes going with something simple like that mm -hmm. is is more effective than right. doing too much. They look like they did the job correctly. I like uh, it. I I'm love gonna it. give it a two. Totes. Two. Next we have Naomi Smalls. Yes, and, and extra smalls. Extra smalls. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I, I love both names. And they are serving Sunny and Cher absolute realness. Mm -hmm. This is such a great vibe and such a great look for Naomi and Extra Smalls. Mm -hmm. I love that Naomi this season has really been pulling out some fun musical references. Mm -hmm. Such a, a, a cool look and I don't think we've ever really seen too many intentional beards on the runway except for maybe Milk's and the bearded runway of season seven. Okay. Um, I like it. No yeah. one's gonna rain on her parade. It's all sunny all day. Naomi has a very, very, very particular silhouette that she works with and a lot of it is based on vintage ideas. For instance, the, the exaggerated collar, the wide leg pant, uh, the big giant bows and the, the fluffy sleeves. That, that's the, there's something about it that's very, very Naomi. I think a lot of it has to do with exaggerated proportions. Like, look at that color. It's so That is the so perfect leisure, leisure suit jacket that I would wear in every color if I could. And, and the, the pants. And, the, and the, 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 the roll on the cuff. Uh-huh, absolutely. A giant cuff, a giant collar, a giant tie. Um, she plays with proportions. And I really love, love these red trousers on her. Like, yeah. Spectacular. Love it, love it, love it. I think she looks great. And extra smalls. I don't know if I would have called her extra smalls. I would have gone with petite. Because isn't that what an extra small is? Well, as someone who does wear an extra small, they usually call it an extra small, not a petite. But um, So you're reading me because I don't know what an extra small or a petite, the difference between it. It's okay. You know. You know, you know. Um, no, I mean, I... Okay, I, uh, that's... Uh, all right. Just, just go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Do you hate me now? <laughs> no. Will you still be my mom? Not at all. I'm your mom. Share oh. needles. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, Naomi is a. She's definitely one of those girls who invests into some good human wigs. Yeah. And I bet she flat ironed that wig right before they went to set yep. in her hotel room, and that's what she showed up with. And I love that. I need that wig. Yeah. She looks great. I love mm -hmm. it. I think they both look good. Successful, double toots for me. Double toots. Next we have Trinity the Tuck and Indigo the Tuck. You couldn't say that these two were not related because the outfits clearly were made they, for they, they, well Yeah, done. they look well like done. they were uh, cut from the same cloth, if you will. Um, but I love it. I almost just bought a, a men's Versace shirt in like that same similar mm -hmm. uh, cobalt and gold. I think it's very elegant, very regal, mm -hmm. very Italian I love. Mm -hmm. um, this is definitely for Trinity uh, coming from the pageant world. Definitely a fabulous interview look that she would have like made everyone. Interview. No, no, not interview in, in, a, in a bad way, but no, this I know is like a mean. super yeah. elevated. So I think it's it's cool, it's successful. I love it. Yeah, they look great. Look at their hair together. Like mm -hmm. they both have beautiful sculpted hair. And I love the big sleeve on Indigo. Yep, That's the Versace very, print very me, is very, very, very effective. I love that. Um, so, I mean, there, I have no Not a fan of the shoe, this. but whatever. She loves that one single strap shoe, don't she? Oh, just the, that the, one like. The foot is petite. I don't mind the, the strap and the shoe and whatever. Yeah. I just don't love the black. Uh -huh. It should like have been a, a blue or gold. Yeah, but like yes. when you're traveling to Drag Race, who's remembering to bring their like super, super, super niche shoes with them. That shit is clunky and heavy and you bring what you bring. Yes, so, very true. Um, I do love this though. The entire thing for both of them is a success for me and I love it. Trinity and Indigo get a toot for me. Yes, Trinity and Indigo, the toot tailors. We've got Monet Extra. Wait, pardon me, am I pronouncing that right? Monet Ma Na Ow. That's how you pronounce it. And her drag daughter, Patty Cash. She is giving you like very gold Monopoly Man vibes. I love all the gold. I love their little gold jackets. I love that one's got a bodysuit and one's got a cat suit. But goddamn those shoes. Yeah. If you're gonna do all the gold, but I guess the black hair. Those shoes look like they've stomped all over the Those are like the industry stage, the therapy stage, the barracuda stage. That's a retail stand. worker high heel. It's low and it's, I don't know, I don't really love this shoe, but the gold is fun. So how, yeah. do, we, how do we fix this? Like, Well, for me, uh, if I was being super particular, I don't love the two-toneness of the gold. I would have liked mm. like a flat gold, so it looks more like a disco ball effect. And because there's so much going on with the paneling of the suit and stuff, you'd be able to catch those crisp lines easier if it was okay. all just one 
One thing, gold. and then less texture. Going back to uh, season 10, I think this makeover is significantly more successful than Monet did with Tyler Oakley. I don't- That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about season four of Drag Race All-Stars. I don't know what to think. I think that the shoes are a fail for me and they're really, really distracting. So therefore I'm gonna boot it. Yep, I'm love, sorry. love Because the from the foot up, but uh, you know what? We're, we're, we're looking for details here. Monet, I'm so sorry, Illy, but no Illy today. No. It's, it's a boot. It's a boot, sorry, honey. Trend alert! Get your man in drag. Get your man in drag! You got a boyfriend? Put him in some drag. Why you gotta be the only one? Get your phone, this shoot a him a text. Things. Yeah, it could Have be a the talk. They're in drag, actually. Yeah! Honey, you know, let's cosplay lesbians tonight, honey. Uh, cosplay? Scissors. Yes. Let's Scissor. just scissor each other. Rock, paper, scissors, scissor. Let's Twitter our beans. Our top two of the week is Monique Hart and, and she need a heart. She need a baby. She need a heart. She need a sandwich. Well, she, she don't need, need much more because she looks fabulous. <laughs> she need a crown. They look so fierce. Hello. Honey. Yeah. We love the looks. Graphic realness. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Tune into VH1 Friday nights and check out a new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. And get rid of our scary faces by clicking the link so you can check out where you can watch All Star Season 4 on WOW Presents in your area. And make sure to check me out in April. I will be touring all over Europe with the Work the World Tour. Get your tickets at voiceevents.com. Work, bitch. As someone who does wear an extra small, they usually call it an extra small.